Every one of the 15 manned Apollo launches made it safely into Earth orbit. NASA was prepared for contingencies, though, and built different methods of aborting a flight into every phase of the missions. Here's a review of every abort mode available during a typical Apollo launch. From T-5 minutes until launch time, the launch escape system tower rocket motors would ignite and pull the command module up and eastward toward the Atlantic Ocean and away from the launch pad. The escape tower would be jettisoned at the top of the parabolic escape route and the command module would deploy its parachutes to land in the ocean. From launch time until an altitude of about 9,800 feet, the Saturn V would still be in a vertical flight position, so the abort procedure called Mode 1 Alpha would be about the same as the launch pad abort process. The escape tower would pull the command module upward and eastward, then jettison and let the command module splash down by parachute. Above 9,800 feet to about 100,000 feet, abort Mode 1 Bravo would change the previous procedure slightly. Since the Saturn V would already be pointing eastward, the escape tower wouldn't need to pull the command module further east. Instead, the tower's rocket motors would steer the command module in the direction directly ahead of the launch vehicle, and then spin the crew compartment so the bottom of the command module was pointed forward. This was because the parachutes could only open when the wind was traveling in the direction from the bottom to the top of the command module. Mode 1 Charlie was from 100,000 feet in altitude up to 55 miles in altitude. The major difference between this mode and the previous mode is that the launch tower's rocket motors would require the assistance of the command module's reaction control system to turn the ship tail forward. This is because the air would be too thin for the escape tower's winglets to function. Mode 2 would be the abort mode available after the launch escape system had been jettisoned. Since the tower could no longer remove the crew from the Saturn V, the engine of the service module would be used to move away from the launch vehicle and then align the command module for splashdown before being jettisoned. Mode 3, which would occur when the Saturn's S-4B stage was capable of putting Apollo into orbit, would simply jettison the second stage early and put Apollo into Earth orbit. The lunar mission would be scrubbed, but the rest of an Earth orbital flight could continue. Mode 4 would cover a failure of the S-4B engine. If such an event occurred, the service module engine would put Apollo into orbit. Again, the lunar mission would no longer be possible, but the Apollo flight in Earth orbit would still occur. Considering that none of these abort modes were ever put into action, it's quite a testament to the reliability of the Saturn V launch vehicle. Visit BAE.com for more surprising space facts.